we cannot have a factory worker and a student playing against full professionals. Viteroli and Dele Valle, they work in the same shop. Half time, yo, Valle, we, we, we got robbed. So you know what I did? Let me tell you what I did. So, you know, it was this whole um, international break um, that we're having. So we're having this whole international break. And I was like, this is probably one of the first times where I'm like, yeah, can we get back to the whole club thing? Guinea-Bissau. I know. The super pigeons. I know. The the ordinary eagles. I <laughs> Or rather, or someone said the eagles. I get that. So I was like, this is the first time I'm like, okay, this whole international thing, it ain't cooking. Call me up when we get to the Euros. Because what I do feel right now and what is so apparent is like, it is so much a foregone conclusion, these qualifications, because of the gap in quality. Now, the beauty of the World Cup was, we saw Morocco say what's up, we saw Japan say what's up. So we saw Morocco and Japan say what's up. So we're like, okay, cool, that's all cool and everything. But I think now, what you're now seeing is, um, all right, this situation that we're now having <laughs> with certain teams and certain people bullying certain teams, something has to be done now. So I feel that whenever I'm explaining something like this, it is best to have an image. Because you know when you're in class and then you know that teacher puts in like a VHS tape. Yes, I was back in the days of the freaking VHS. Yes, I'm not I'm not that old. Okay, I'm you know 19. But remember when you know like you, you those classes you had. You're like, oh, damn, man. Uh, chemistry, God. Freaking bones and bono, photosynthesis, physics. Online chapters attract, so react. I don't, I don't know. Okay, my physics teacher was crazy. Shout out to David Gray. But whenever they had like an image, it helped to illuminate things, illustrate things. So, guys, you're in luck because I have an image for you people. That's that. This is a team that could potentially play a Spain, a Germany, an England, a Portugal, a France. So what you're gonna tell me is <laughs> an accountant has to stop <laughs> Mbappe, um, Pedri, Musiala, and Harry Kane from scoring. And Christina from scoring. You're telling me that a factory worker and a lawyer have to now try to dictate a game and control a game. So you're so you're so you're telling me that a shop worker, we are relying on a shop worker to to try and drop a two piece on either Spain, Germany, or, or England. We are now relying on wing play between an olive oil company and an office guy. We are hoping that. A partnership can be forged between a student and an, and an, and an office clerk. I mean, guys, what I mean, I mean, I mean, what is going on here? Like, what what is truly going on here? Because I just, for for me, I just feel that I get it, guys. I get it. Everybody, everybody deserves a chance to compete. We are in Europe. And we deserve for a chance to compete. So why should you deny us having a chance to compete? That's all fair. Okay? That is the beauty of competition. Is that we want to... We, we represent San Marino and we want to say, what's up? So for me, this isn't about San Marino. This is about UEFA and FIFA. Because you should take the decision away from San Marino. You should be like, look, we cannot have a factory worker and a student playing against full professionals because that's just stupid and that is unfair and that spits in the face of competition that's, that's, that's this ends competition this is this is extortion <laughs> this is this, this this is a persecution okay it's it's it's, it's not fair so where is the, where 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 is the fairness here where is the fairness of a team made up of shop workers, a factory worker, and an accountant? 
you know, because here's my thing. Because you see, see, people are not thinking about this stuff. What if at halftime, Simoncini gets a call and says, yo, man, there's, there's some problem with the books and so forth. So while, so does he go out into the second half? And even if he goes into the second half, he's thinking, that, bro, man, someone just called me about my numbers. What if um, Viteroli and Dele Valle, they work in the same shop? Halftime, yo, Valle, we, we, we got robbed. We, we, got, we got robbed. So they should go out into the second half in the mindset that they're not going to go back to their shop that has been, been robbed. So there should be a tax there. <laughs> so, you see, people, they, people are not thinking about the stuff here. People are not thinking about the stuff. Buscarini, bro, he's thinking about, his, he's thinking about, about, about his, his chemistry exam later that day or later that freaking week. You see, the full-time players, that's all you think about. These guys have to worry about their accounts and their clients have to worry about their, their shops. And the guy has to worry about his office work. Another guy has to now worry about um, his studies. So I feel, and some people have suggested this, there should be like a pre-tournament. Luxembourg, Liechtenstein, Sam, there should be a pre-tournament with these guys because let's actually, let us bring a little, just a little bit of competition into the qualification. Because see, this is so different from Conway Ball. Because I, I think everyone agrees that Conway Ball is the most competitive. Um, it, it's, it's the most competitive core qualifying in the whole world. Because top to bottom, everyone knows how, how, how to play. Okay, people may, may argue that, okay, the weakest team in Conway Ball may be Bolivia or Venezuela. I think it might be Bolivia. We believe you. Bolivia will testify against the, 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 these dudes. <laughs> Bolivia will testify against these freaking dudes. So the weakest team, and, and that's my thing though. Bring Africa, bring Asia, bring Oceania, bring all these dudes. I, I think the lowest ranked teams in the world are in Europe. You know, so I believe Europe has, I guess, Europe has some of the strongest teams in the world, and Europe also has some of the weakest teams in the world. So, because my thing is, unless, it, okay, Spain against San Marino, if you're Spanish and you're from San Marino, cool, you've got to watch it because, hey, I'm Spanish, I watch everything Spanish. That's all fair. If you're not Spanish or you're not from San Marino, what is the point in seeing a Spanish training session? Because Spain against San Marino, Jenny against San Marino, England against San Marino, that's not a match. It's not a match. It's a training session where there's only there's only one team competing there. So, I, like, for me, I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do, but guys, this is this is crazy. This is great. This is crazy, crazy. Guys, my defensive partnership can't be made up of guys who run a shop. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be crazy or so forth, but I'm just saying, man, like, come on, man. What are we saying here? What are we saying? So so, the, so we're relying on a factory worker and a lawyer to be Iniesta and Javi. <laughs> I mean, come on. So we're relying on the an office clerk and a guy who runs an olive oil company to try and sell, so supply a shop worker. I mean, I mean, what, I mean, I mean, what is this? What, I mean, what is this? What is this, man? You know, but again... I keep saying these things just as how I brought up, brought up the forfeits rule. No one cares. No one seems to freaking care, man. So as I say in life, it is what it is. Guys, remember, like that video, guys. Remember to subscribe for that football analysis.